Hello and thanks for watching this new episode of RTV with me, Rizal Sadili. Today, I'll be showing you a really cool piece of software called Ave Preview, which allows you to preview images very quickly. Now, Ave Preview is a very unique application, since instead of applying a skin to the actual application, the application is part of the skin. So you will find many, many different versions of Ave Preview with just different skins. So I've searched on DeviantArt, Ave Preview, and this is what I've got. So as you can see, the, um, the top results are Kuro for Ave Preview, Leopard Skin for Ave Preview, and Nuala for Ave Preview. Now these are three different skins, but they all contain the application within the skin. So the skin is actually part of the application. It's built in. So I'm going to download Kuro for Ave Preview. So simply click, click download. I'm going to save the file to the desktop. And then I'm going to extract this. And go into the folder. Go into Ave Preview and run avepreview.exe, which is the application. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. Now I can preview an image. So I'm going to get this image that I have here and put it in. And there's a little preview. It's very quick. I'm also going to change the default program for opening up images to Ave Preview. So um, when I open up an image, usually it, op it opens up in Photo Viewer or something like that, but I'm going to change it to Ave Preview. And if you're going to use Ave Preview as your main application for opening up images, make sure you put the actual folder in a place where you won't mess around with it, just to keep it nice and snug. So you want to open up uh, an image, or just right click on an image, go to open with and then go to choose default program then go to browse and find where you have it on your desktop or you know where wherever that folder is so I'm gonna go into Kuro for Ave Preview, Ave Preview and get the application and as you can see there's a bit of an error you won't experience this but I have I've got this error as you can see but um, it doesn't recognize it and it's not it doesn't come up so I'm just gonna go to browse gonna relocate it again and all I'm gonna do is um, make sure that's selected to all files and change the application to uh, a random name a random name so I'm just gonna call this pop for now and I'm gonna change the ini file or configuration file to pop.ini as well and now if I get pop.exe it can recognize it now I have no idea I have no idea why this happens but it's just a little b bug that happens and um, I'm trying to find a fix but at the moment that's all I I've found to do so I just double click on pop.exe click OK and now if I open up any JPEG image it will open up in Ave Preview and it's as simple as that if I click on this one it opens up in Ave Preview I'll show you a quick tour of the buttons so uh, on the left here we have the back and forward and then zoom in zo zo zoom out and zoom in um, move around when you z zoomed in um, select the little bit uh, a select button basically you just um, select which bit you want and it'll zoom in on only that bit sort of like a cropping feature just actually doesn't crop but sort of like that and this uh, button here allows you to open up a, an image that isn't in the same place as the image that you're previewing currently so as you can see I'm previewing the X image here and um, with these back and forward buttons I can preview any other image on my desktop so I have this one here if I click on the right button as you can see it comes to that image and uh, this basically allows me to preview any image in the same place as the image I'm currently previewing, if that makes sense. But um, if you want to view an image that isn't in the same place or in the same folder as the one you're currently previewing, you just click on this button here and uh, it will allow you to select another image. By the way, all of these buttons will be different in any other skin that you that you pick. So because because it's very unique and the skin being the actual application you'll find you know various different styles 
and um, in some cases there are extra buttons and extra functionalities to AVI Preview which are quite cool. So um, thanks for watching this episode of RTV with me Rizal Sedeli and uh, see you next time and bye bye. So here you can fan the page on Facebook, you can ask me a question at formspring.me and you can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Rizal TV.